Well, hi there, everybody, on Facebook Live as well as on the website KSBLocal4.com. You're all just Travis Klineski here as we take a look at things this morning and through the day today. We are going to have a chance of rain and thunderstorms increasing during the day. Uh, not a big severe weather threat this morning, but as we get later into the afternoon, into the evening hours, a cold front will be approaching. It'll be fairly warm out ahead of that front today. In fact, even along the hot side near the Nebraska-Kansas border. And that could trigger showers and thunderstorms that could be strong to severe late in the afternoon and into the evening hours. Now, initially, there could be some supercell thunderstorms producing some large hail, maybe some, and maybe an isolated tornado. And then eventually becomes more of a damaging wind gust threat uh, later on with these storms as they kind of congeal in northern Kansas. Now, later in the night, the chances of storms will be well to our south shifting out of here and we should see quieter weather mostly uh, after midnight uh, for you folks in Kansas it may not be till tomorrow morning most of your day Thursday is going to be cooler and quieter the only chances of rain are mainly out west we do get a small chance later in the afternoon in the tri-cities so the chance is increasing a little bit more towards Thursday evening and Thursday night but really we're going to be waiting till Friday and Friday night just for some much better chances of rain and thunderstorms well as we look at your uh, severe weather threat as we push towards uh, today, later today, I should say, there is a slight risk of severe weather for a large part of the area, uh, especially though I would focus on areas south of the interstate into northern Kansas. And as I mentioned, I think uh, damaging wind gusts, large hail are probably your biggest threat with these strongest storms. There is a small window of time we may get an isolated tornado or two. I don't see it as being a big threat for today. And then as we jump ahead to Friday, that's our next chance of severe weather. This will be out in the western part of the state, although many of us could get on showers and thunderstorms, especially by Friday night into Saturday. That's kind of our best chance of rain and thunderstorms coming up here after today's chance. All right, well, temperatures today, this is going to be the warmest day where most of us are going to see for a while, getting into the 80s, uh, looking at mid-80s up towards the north. Now, some places will probably end up being a little bit cooler. I just think that sunspots with extra clouds and rain around may be held down a little bit. That said, it's kind of tough to figure out exactly how that's going to play out. It depends on how things go today. But you can even see some 90s in, along far southern Nebraska and northern Kansas, some low and maybe even a few mid-90s uh, for today. Um, and then finally out towards the east, we're looking at temperatures 80s to right around 90 there in Hebron and Belleville, Kansas. It's going to cool back the next couple of days. Tomorrow's chance of rain, not as high. A 20% chance during the day, a 30% chance tomorrow evening. And then things will really pick up again Friday and especially Friday night and Saturday. Friday night and Saturday is a pretty likely chance of rain and thunderstorms. Some still sticking around though Saturday night and into Sunday. But by Sunday night and then going through Monday and Tuesday, I think we'll finally see a continued drier, some drier air working its way in, more sunshine, and temperatures will start to warm back up at least into the low and mid-80s after a stretch of 70s. It's really going to be cool for this time of the year, that Thursday through Sunday time frame. And low temperatures will be mostly in the upper 50s and lower 60s. So there you go. There's that forecast for today. Again, uh, if you haven't yet, download the KSMB Local 4 weather app. You'll be able to get more information about severe weather if that does happen for your area later on today. That's the best way to get information about severe weather if it happens to impact your area. So again, uh, search your Apple or Android markets, KSNB Local 4 weather, and you'll find that app in there. And it's free, and uh, we've got a lot of people giving testimonies that it's been a good app to have. That's one of their favorite apps to have on their phone. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm here. I'll just Travis Planeski. Hope you all have a great Wednesday. God bless. Bye.